Good morning, it's Wednesday, February 2nd. I'm Grady. And I'm Armando. So Armando, did you know that today's 2 2 22? Mmm. Speaking of mmm, today for lunch we'll be having chicken tenders, buttered macaroni, green beans, veggie juice, fruit, and milk. Want to work as a lifeguard this summer? We are offering lifeguard certifications to all the, at the Perry Natatorium. Check out the Perry Natatorium web, website for more information. Limited spots are available. Deadline to sign up is February 3rd. They're also offering recent certifications if yours is expiring. Senior option students, be advised that we are on a PEP schedule this Friday. Make sure you arrive on time for your class. Attention all SAD members, we will be meeting today after school at 222 in Miss Miner's room at two, room 237. Man, another 222. Attention yogis, join us for a yoga session on Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30. Sign up in room 219. Attention math team, we will, be we, will be, we will practice on Friday morning from 7 to 7.25 in room 219. There's a mandatory meeting for all boys in grades 9 through 12 interested in playing on the boys tennis team this spring. The meeting will be today in the athletic classroom immediately following school and will be about 20 minutes long. Questions should be directed to Coach Noak. Tickets are now live for the Sadie Hawkins dance. The link is in today's PHS News email. If you are bringing an out-of-school uh, out date, please fill out the out-of-school guest form. They are available on the bulletin board outside Ms. Doubt's room, uh, and they can also be turned into Ms. Cundis' room in room 222. The legendary Wayne Gretzky has been quoted as saying, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. This old adage can be applied to rugby as well. You never know what you are missing until you give it a shot. The Panther Rugby boys and girls teams are now forming for the spring season, practicing every Wednesday night from 6.30 to 8.30 at the Genoa School Elementary in the gym. More information on our rugby team's website is available, and you can also talk to a rugby player, whether it be me or any of the local players in the school. To celebrate Black History Month, All In is bringing you influential black figures that have transcended time and made a mark in history that will always be remembered. The first two black generals in the U.S. military were none other than father and son Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr. The father was born in 1880, later going straight to the military in 1898. He was the first black general in the U.S. military as well as the first in the U.S. Army. Benjamin Davis Jr., the son, was born in 1912 and he followed his father by joining the military after attending college. He became a lieutenant colonel before later becoming the first black general in the U.S. Air Force. Both father and son made a significant impact in the desegregation of the U.S. military by breaking racial barriers. Today's trivia question, which military academy did Benjamin Davis Jr. attend? Place answers in the Google form in today's PHS News email. We'll be back after this short message. Rosa Parks was the first African American to ever sit in the white section on the Montgomery bus boycott. She refused to leave the seat and moved to the back. Rosa Parks was born February 14, 1913 and died October 24, 2005. She is known as the First Lady of Civil Rights. To continue this week's Spirit Week, everyone looks suitably wacky. Tomorrow is anything but a backpack day. Carry around your belongings in anything but a backpack. Your receptacles must be able to go up and down the stairs easily and fit through any doors. No shopping carts. Don't forget to enter the raffle uh, to participate in the pep rally. Well, that's all we have for you today, Perry. Have a great day.